Hello. Hi. Hi, Olivier. Such a Hello, pleasure. Hello, Raoul. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Thank you. Uh, very well. And you? Yeah. Yeah. Doing very well. You know, uh, sit, uh, staying at home, spending time with family. That's one of the most positive things about um, about the, uh, you know, lockdown. And yeah, I have a new newborn son and, you know, I yes. can see him grow. So I'm, I'm the least person who's complaining right now, staying at home and working. But thank you very much uh, for, for coming here and spending time. It really means a huge deal to me. And I'm a huge um, admirer of what you do. And I'm glad that you are spending the next 45 minutes to one hour with us. Thank, thank, thank you very much, Raoul. Uh, and as well, it's uh, really a pleasure to explain my métier, my, my job to uh, passionate people, because I, I know we have quite a lot of uh, friends uh, tonight. And uh, it would be uh, great to, uh, to answer to, to them to any, any questions. Absolutely. You know, I, this is the most people I've had so far. So just to the meal, I had like 70, 75 people. So, you know, it's not a compa comparison, but I'm just uh, happy that people are spending time with us uh, on, on, on Sunday evening. So um, how are things, uh, Olivier, like right now with, uh, with you not being able to go outside or us all not yeah. being able to go out? Uh, how are things like you must well, be creating some new things? The thing, the thing is, uh, when, when, when uh, I mean, the, 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 the sanitary crisis is a, a bit dangerous, instead of staying in Paris in my lab, in the, in the surrounding, uh, I'm going back to, to Cannes, near Grasse, where, where I'm born. And, uh, you know, uh, we have a nice flat. I'm using my uh, laptop connected to, to, um, to my robot in, at Firmenich, you know, and uh, I can send easily yep. some, some nice fragrances. And, okay. the, and the day after I get, I get uh, you know, the samples. So it works uh, very well. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very, uh, re very relaxed. The thing is, in our, in our job, the best is to find IDs, you know. And uh, I have to say, being uh, surrounded by a nice luminosity, light, a nice lightness, the view on the, on the sea helps to get some, some, uh, some good ideas. Absolutely. You know, I think I, I was supposed to come to Cairns as well, but it did, I didn't manage. I, I actually met Anais, your daughter, you know, two years ago at Exons. And last year, I think, Jack told me that Maybe you would join, but it never happened. So hopefully this year, I don't know if in Exons we will get a, a chance to meet. Well, we will uh, probably go, go to Exons if the, the, the situation is improving. Yeah. Uh, but I heard from February, it's uh, now uh, around April, May, and it could be also postponed, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, for sure, we would like to, to go to, uh, to make sense and, and meet yeah. lots of people from, from uh, far countries, no doubt. Absolutely, absolutely. But you know, the good, next best thing is a live like this, where you can talk and answer all our questions and, you know, really inspire us. So uh, the first question, Olivia, would be just, you know, tell us how it all started, you know, because mm -hmm. you have had such a um, huge career, you know, successful career and also very fulfilling. And most of the people who are watching, almost all of them, we are, you know, we are, we are aware of the work and we love what you have done so far. So please tell us where it all started. Uh, thank you. Th thank you, Raoul. So uh, as you know, uh, as you can hear, I'm French. Um, <laughs> I'm born in Cannes, but, uh, but all my family since the uh, 17th district uh, was, was born and uh, we, we, we lived in, the, in grass, in the grass region. Okay. And um, I remember uh, you know, I was uh, with my father and grandfather. They were uh, brokers. They, they were specialized in raw materials, natural ingredients, specialized in uh, citrus, uh, Italian citrus, such as lemon, orange, <laughs> bergamot, grapefruit. But as well, they, my father was specialized in jasmine, rose, carnation, violet, and so on, and mimosa. And uh, I can tell you, uh, it was, uh, I remember when I was uh, at the age of six, seven years, he was uh, bringing me to uh, those fields because at that time, years ago, grass was uh, surrounded by many, many uh, fields, you know, and it was really nice to, uh, to any, uh, in January, February or May, or June, we had some, some nice smell uh, coming from the fields 
could be a geranium, it could be broom, uh, uh -huh. jasmine, uh, mimosa in January and February, and so on. So, uh, you know, uh, he, he was coaching me, my father was coaching me to, to, to smell really the, the right ingredients, the pure ingredients. Mm -hmm. So you, you had the training or you had the access to, to, to the ingredients from a, from a young age? Sorry, uh, yeah, I, I, I had, I had um, you know, um, I, was, uh, I was trained by, by my father when, uh, when he was coming back from uh, his, uh, his job. His, uh, he, he, was, he was bringing me uh, always some, some nice samples of uh, natural ingredients. So every evening, uh, you know, for, for many, many years, yeah. I was smelling those pure ingredients. And I, I can tell you at the age of uh, 18, I knew by heart all the, uh, all the uh, ingredients, but as well the molecules, you know, wow. uh, because molecules also help to, to create some nice uh, fragrances. Beautiful. So basically what you would have learned in a perfume school, uh, you already learned with your father. So that yeah. gave you probably a, a huge kickstart. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a kind of uh, legacy, you know, it's transmission uh, mm -hmm. from, uh, from uh, my, my former uh, grandfather to my father. And, and from, uh, from my father to me. And that's what I'm doing as well with my, my son, Sebastian, who uh, is also a very good uh, uh, perfumer. And uh, so every day we are, we, are, we, we are talking about ingredients, molecules, facets, and so on. So it's, it's very, very, uh, very fun and very pleasant. Absolutely. This, is, actually, this was my next question regarding the family. So you said your son, Sebastian, is also into fragrances. So you told me that he's, he started with candles, right? And then uh, he moved to fragrances or? He, he was, Sebastian uh, started in the, in, the, in the French school based in Grasse, the Grasse Institute of Perfumery. By the way, it's, it's a really nice school, you know. Uh, and you, could, you can, you can uh, learn a lot. Uh, within the, the school, but as well in the factories, the glass factories in a year, and, and then you get the diploma, and with the diploma you, you can uh, you can apply for some jobs, you see, and um, so he, um, he he went to uh, to Firmini, he passed on with success all the tests, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, he learned with the uh, uh, Firmini school for five years and became a, a perfumer, and now he has uh, ten years experience yeah. and. He's very, uh, very creative, you know, uh, very successful. So I'm very proud of him. That's lovely. Would, would you, would you, I don't know, think of doing something together with your son, maybe in future? We do. We do sometimes, you know, we are working on some, uh, some, uh, because uh, Sebastian is, is specialized in uh, uh, body care, shampoo, mm -hmm. uh, shower gel and candles. But, but, uh, you know, as we are using exactly the same palette, and uh, the, 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 the best, the, the most important thing is getting some, some good ideas. So we are sharing some uh, fragrances projects. And uh, I have to say, uh, it's, it's very pleasant to, uh, to work and, and, uh, and to be successful, the two of us, you know, so. Absolutely. No, that's, that's always great to have someone in the family, uh, you know, who, who, who knows this and who, who shares the passion. Yeah. So um, I the next question from my side is, I mean, you know, you have done so many fragrances, like there are countless fragrances you have done. Like sometimes when I smelled first light blue, I was like, okay, Olivia can do beautiful freshies. Then I looked at Mercedes Benz. Then I looked at uh, Opium. So there has been everything from freshies to, you know, spicy to smoky. So what is really your style? I mean, is this something that you enjoy more than something else or, you know? Mm. Well, it's, it's a very good question. In fact, you know, uh, I, when I created the Angel years ago, it was the first gourmand fragrance. But yeah. I didn't want to be trapped in one style, you see. I didn't want that people said to me, oh, well, he's the guy uh, who created the gourmand fam family and he does, he creates, he makes only some gourmand fragrances. No, I tried to uh, escape from uh, that, that trap. And um, I'm, you know, working in, in, uh, with different styles, uh, I'm working in, in flower, flowers, I'm working in spices, working in freshness. Uh, actually, I'm working on a clean effect also uh, after the, the COVID, you know, 
everybody is looking for cleanness, you know, mm-hmm. some purity. Uh, so, so in fact, what, what I said previously, uh, Raoul, it's uh, getting ideas, you know, and getting the ideas that no one else have done on the market, you see. Yeah. So that, that is key, you know, and it's true for any art, you know. It's, it's true for musicians, it's true for uh, music, it's true for um, painters, uh, what, what you need. You can have your own style, okay? Yeah. But, but what you need on top of that, it's the best ideas. So I try every time to think about uh, my customers' um, portfolio, and I try, you know, to, to come to come with new ideas that no one else has done on, on on the market, and especially in the niche market, you know, where mm-hmm. you can dare more, you can take more risk, you can be more polarizing. Yeah. Um, you can be love and hate. Uh, so, so uh, you know, I, 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 uh, I take some risk and uh, it pays off, you know. Absolutely. I mean, uh, talking about Angel, you know, uh, and this goes very well to my next question about ingredients. Right? I mean, it's a long question of where the inspiration comes from, but how do you somehow define something new? Is it somehow in the brief or is it somewhere you, you it's a memory? You know what I mean? Like yeah. how? Good. Yes, Raoul. Raoul. In fact, you know, um, what I'm questioning myself where I get some some ideas because it's it's suddenly in your brain, and then the day after, or the, a week after, a month later, then you you need to express what you've done and so on. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the thing is, where I, I I dig most of my ideas, it's in the, the childhood. It's mine in mine. Uh, childhood, so from zero to 15 years old, that's where uh, I was exactly, uh, uh, I was very happy, protected by my mother, by my grandmother, uh, it was a very easy life, you know, especially uh, when you are uh, in grass, uh, on the top of a hill, you know, where the, the, the atmosphere, the, the air is pure, the, again, the the, 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 the lightness is nice, the, the fields are smelling uh, gorgeously. Um, so in fact, uh, I did I, I, I in fact my best ideas from uh, my childhood, could be my parents' garden, it could be some recipes, you know, some cookies recipes, could be uh, some, some uh, um, nice uh, drinks, nice beverage. I've been drinking like chocolate with milk. It's nice. Nice. Uh, I remember I had a conversation once with uh, Thierry Miller, you know, mm-hmm. uh, and, and uh, you know he stayed he stayed uh, uh, almost three four hours in uh, in my uh, uh, in my office and he was explaining me uh, his brief, you know, his view, and uh, you know I was like a, a psy at the beginning, um, trying to uh, you know to ask him some questions and he was he was talking to me about his mother grandmother the. The, 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 or again, also the chocolate uh, with lots of milk, the honey, uh, uh, you know, the nice, nice memories, nice and quiet memories where you can, you can, uh, you can get uh, lots of ideas. But I have to say also, when I'm traveling all over the world, in Brazil, North America, uh, last year I was in China, I yeah. try also to understand uh, the customers, you see. And, and uh, I'm smelling also the markets. And, uh, and uh, you know, I always come back, not with a pile of uh, new ideas, but only one or two ideas is enough, you know. Mm-hmm. And I try to work them, make some experiments. And after, let's say, one year, one and a half year, you know, I have a, a quite a nice uh, fragrance with, mm-hmm. with some long-lastingness, um, with uh, some diffusion, sillage, and, and then I can show it to my, to my customers. Absolutely. I mean, I will also again mention Angel. I mean, it's, it's not only about Angel. There's so many fragrances. But because it was such a, let's say, an era-defining fragrance, uh, do you create it looking at a culture? Like, you know, you mentioned China, you mentioned Brazil. So first of all, what, first question is like, when it's new, there is always a risk. It's a gamble, right? It might work, it might not work. And then second thing is, do you have something in mind that should it be pleasing to everyone or should it be you know do you have like one direction in the mind or you say okay i want to create something that's like loved by everyone when 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 uh, it's pleasing everybody it's not a good sign 
So that means it's a, it's a kind of a mainstream fragrance, uh, which no one has taken taking taken any risk. You see, so I think we have we have to take to, to take a little bit of risk. Uh, we have to dare. We have to 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 to, to create some fragrances with lots of signature in order to, to be different from, uh, from the market, you know. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's not good to follow too much the, the market, you see, because otherwise uh, you are one among, among thousands of the uh, same yeah. fragrances. So it's better to, um, you know, to, to follow your, uh, uh, your idea. And at, at, at the end, of course, you have to make it a, a bit rounder um, in order to, 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 to please more people but uh, when people come to me and say, well, your fragrance, I'm sorry to say that, but I don't like it at all. You, you know, I'm smiling and I say, okay, I, I'm respecting your choice. I don't, I don't want to please, uh, you know, uh, anybody. It's, it's just uh, the one which uh, like my perfumery and, uh, and then I'm glad, you know, that's it. That's it. You know, th things are, are, are made easily. We, we don't have to... To um, you know, to ask ourselves too many questions, you, you feel it. Um, the thing is, um, in order to um, to to make a success, it's not only the fragrance, you know. It's also the uh, the, the company name. It's also the uh, the shape of the bottle, the price also of the the, the bottle. You see, if it's a 100 ml, a 50 ml, a 30 ml, and it's and to see also the strengths of the company was going to distribute it. You see, so, so it's uh, lots of uh, factors that, uh, uh, that makes, makes uh, the fragrance successful. Or yeah, not. it's funny that you say it because, I mean, we always think designers should always be mass pleasing and then niche should be, you know, for a, for a smaller group. But I think the magic is uh, to create a fragrance that's also unique, even though if it's a designer and mass pleasing. So that's where I have to really kind of, you know, congratulate you for all the amazing successes. Uh, that you and you see, I will uh, um, to, to be to be uh, totally transparent. Um, I, 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 I will say at the beginning, the real beginning, uh, when you have the idea and when you make two, three experiments, uh, trials, uh, so the, the fragrance belongs to you, but as soon as you show it to e evaluators, to salespeople, to clients, then it doesn't belong to you any longer. It belongs, it belongs to, to somebody else. It belongs already to the client because you showed it, you see? Absolutely. You know, I would really like to ask one question because that's very relevant right now to what you're talking about. Essential performance, which I'm a huge fan of. They, they asked, how did you find the Cappuccino Accord? Uh, uh, so famous in Egypt and so new at that time, you know. Yeah, the the, the you know um, um, I'm I'm really um, you know addict. I could say I'm really addict of, about coffee and drinking like uh, <laughs> ten ten cups uh, every every year. And as soon as I go to uh, um, some some countries like uh, in uh, last year we went to Guatemala, we had a session of coffee. Uh, you know, I, we have been smelling, let's say, uh, 20, 20 kind of uh, different coffee, smelling mm -hmm. and drinking, you know, tasting. Okay. Uh, then when, when I go to, to Brazil as well, in the south, they have excellent coffee and so on. So I, I come back with uh, some ideas, mixing, mixing in the ingredients. And I had the idea uh, once to, to work on a cappuccino, um, a creamy uh, coffee blended with, uh, with milky, um, ingredients and and that was it also cappuccino the uh, espresso you know the idea of um, Noah uh, from Cacharel uh, mm -hmm. it's called the, because we give always uh, f um, names to our formulas to our creations and the, the title is super espresso you know mm -hmm. remember uh, when I had the uh, the general manager of uh, years ago of uh, uh, Cacharel, he came and he was explaining to me, um, you know, the, uh, the, 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 what he wanted, because our, our clients, they have also some, some strong ideas. Yeah. Uh, they give us some, some, uh, some, some, uh, you know, some tips, some uh, ideas to work on. And he was explaining uh, the brief. And uh, I remember we were having a, a, a cup of coffee 
uh, and it was an espresso. And, and he said to me, I want something, uh, you know, attractive, very sensual, very new, a bit dark, a bit um, that no one else has done already on the market. And, I, and he said, you don't want to take any notes? And I said, okay, here is uh, the answer. And I showed it the, uh, the empty, empty uh, uh, cup of coffee and he was smelling it and he said, wow, it's a good start, you know? Okay. <laughs> and, 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 and from that idea, of course, after so many, many experiments, then it becomes something wearable, pleasing and pleasing more people. Um, but with a lot of uh, character. Yeah, and then you do Awake. That really <laughs> blows my mind every time I spray it on. But we'll talk about Acro later. Um, um, Olivia, another thing is uh, ingredients. I'm really excited, like kind of curious and excited to hear about your opinion on molecules, ingredients, because you work with them every day. What is your opinion on them? And like, yeah. do you find so, new ingredients and how? how yes, I would say also a very good question. Uh, in ingredients are key. It's like uh, the colors for a painter in order to make some nice paintings, you know. Uh, and we don't have six colors. We have more, you know. Yes. We are using at least, uh, uh, I would say, uh, 1,200 uh, natural ingredients and more than 3,000 molecules. And I have to say that uh, as well, the, uh, the molecules sometimes cost even more than, than natural ingredients. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a mix, you know. And mm -hmm. among, let's say, um, 4,000 uh, 4, ingredients, maybe I'm working precisely with 10% of those ingredients, but I know them by art. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I know exactly, uh, ex exactly uh, if, if I put, let's say, patchouli, it will be uh, 31 grams instead of uh, 29. I know, I know exactly how to manage them. And I know exactly, um, you know, the guessing uh, of, uh, of, the, uh, of the ingredients, you see, because uh, what I do, I try to, to work on a minimalist formula, short formula, and always, um, you know, I'm thinking in percentages, you see. Uh, so like, like 1,000 or 10,000 grams, you see. So I, I know exactly uh, those ingredients, those four ingredients, <laughs> I know them by art. And yeah. I, know, I know how to, to handle the, that uh, correctly. So uh, natural ingredients are key because they give you some strength. Mm -hmm. uh, but on top of that, um, you know, what I like to do, I like to, to work uh, uh, with my company, with Firmenich. We are working with uh, a lot in sustainability. So mm -hmm. that's why we are selecting our farmers, um, our, our um, you know, uh, countryside people and they uh, all over the world we have more than 25 30 uh, 30 uh, suppliers uh, dedicated to find the best ingredients the best natural ingredients so because in first first of all we want to protect the planet yeah. we want we want uh, to clean the planet and we want also uh, to to use the, the best ingredients but also to uh, help um, um, the, those people to live uh, dec decently, you know, mm -hmm. they have a better life. Uh, when I go to south of India yeah. and uh, in Kerala and Tamil Nadu, yeah. uh, and, and when I, I see some, uh, you know, some tuberose uh, crops, some jasmine uh, uh, harvest as well, um, and when I talk, I try to talk, you know, with the farmers. They are they are smiling, you know, because they appreciate. Yeah. A lot uh, us because we um, we appreciate their qualities. They know we are going to use them in nice fragrances. We are respecting the flowers. We are respecting them, and we help them also to uh, you know to have a better life. Uh, even if we can help them to uh, to have let's say um, a kind of not hospital, but uh, you know one, one or two rooms, special rooms where they can um, you know protect the people. Mm -hmm. um, then, then I, I when af afterwards when I go back to my country, I feel very happy because we have done something, something really, really nice. Uh, because we smell some nice fragrances with nicer ingredients. We know that we, we are going to make some some nice um, no, nice ideas uh, with, with them. Um, and 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 uh, on top of that, they live more decently. Of course, they have no Rolls Royce cars. 
but, but they have better, better, better lives, you see. Yeah. Like last year in Guatemala, San Salvador, uh, where, where I've been with uh, some uh, uh, colleagues, you know, some perfumous colleagues uh, of Firme Niche, we enjoyed it uh, so much and we, we, we met some lots of people, you know, we, 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 we've been uh, smell, smelling some nice uh, cardamom, green cardamom seeds, yeah. uh, some nice um, uh, ombre seed oil, you, you see, yeah. uh, Peru balsam as well, so it's great. It's great, yeah. and, and some patchouli, some white patchouli as well. So, <clears throat> smelling nice qualities, getting some nice ideas, talking with, uh, with nice people, well, you feel very, very happy, you know, and uh, you are above the clouds, and everybody is uh, so satisfied afterwards. Absolutely. Do, do you think, Oli, that's really beautiful to hear. Do you think more perfumers, more brands should be doing these sustainability things, or... You know, or do you think that less people doing it and more should be doing it? Uh, I think it's uh, it's uh, our duty, um, not only uh, in perfumery but uh, ev everywhere in the world, to protect the the planet, to avoid any uh, any any petrol, plastic. Uh, we we have, we have we have to clean the planet. Uh, otherwise, our our children or grandchildren they, they will have big issues. Uh, you see, uh, those kind of virus that we, we have so often, they might come from somewhere, you see. It's because some, some dirty spaces, you know, it could be, could be you know, it's not only animals, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, mm -hmm. the, 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 the people uh, actually, they are uh, putting, uh, you know, all the garbage uh, uh, everywhere and we have to be um, realistic and try to, to, clean, to, to clean the planet. And as I said previously, um, uh, I think in, well in, in perfumery, lots of companies are doing it. We have to to help the farmers uh, to live decently. Um, uh, otherwise, if if we don't help them, uh, then they are not going to um, to to be next year with uh, new new crops. You see, new patchouli, or new cardamom, and so on. So our 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 um, um, yeah the duty task is to. Um, um, target is to to, um, to 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 be with them, to respect them, uh, yeah. um, and and uh, and also on top of that, when you talk directly with the the, the customers, and we, then we say that our fragrances are totally safe, and we have been using more than uh, um, you know with green chemistry, with biodegradability, with a pure pureness, and so on. I mean, well, our customers, they are very confident. Uh, they trust us, of course. Um, and and, uh, and uh, I mean, it's good, good for the people and good for the planet. Absolutely. And with this, uh, Olivia, I would like to kind of uh, move to, to Acro. Uh, so we talked about um, all the great stuff you have done apart from Acro. So what was the difference creating Angel or Light Blue or Black Opium? And then you create something for your own. So uh, is there something that you like more? Do you like the other world more or your own world more? How? Yeah. how... The, the, the thing is I've been creating and I'm still creating some, uh, some nice uh, uh, big, huge uh, fragrances uh, all over the world. Um, but, but, you know, sometimes I want, I want to breathe. I want to, uh, to work for myself. And, uh, and together with... Uh, my, my daughter Anais and uh, her husband uh, Jack, uh, you, you met him, Jack is English, um, uh, rapidly because I think we, we don't have time too much, but uh, um, you know, we had uh, previously years, years ago with my daughter, we had some, some, some ideas to um, start on the side, our small uh, startup, you know, company, uh, <laughs> but we were not ready because uh, Anais, she, she went to, to UK, uh, and that's where, uh, where she, she met uh, Jack. Uh, and and uh, in fact, we were missing the, the most important thing, it was the concept, you know. And once uh, she rang me and she said to me, Dad, I think we, uh, we found in England, in London, we found a terrific uh, concept, a terrific idea that no one else has done on the, on the market yet, yet. And uh, it, was, it was addiction. She said, could you work on fragrances um, um, among, among addic addictions? And they said, yes. 
some addictions, I can realize them, uh, but some others are, are going to be, uh, to be very, very, very difficult, such as, you know, gambling, addiction to gamble uh, is, is, is uh, impossible to reproduce, but addiction to a cigarette, addiction to uh, alcohol, addiction to, uh, you know, lots of, uh, to drug, to, uh, to, uh, to, to coffee, uh, that is possible, you see. Right. And uh, because my, as I said previously, my uh, style is, uh, is uh, figurative, you know. Right. And well, well, we have a strong concept. Okay, now we have to find a name, you know. And, uh, and the name was, uh, well, came, came easily uh, because it was fitting really uh, our, our addiction uh, concept, you know, the name was, uh, at the beginning we had toxic, but tox toxic was a bit pejorative, you know, a bit so, so, so we stayed, we stayed on, uh, on acro, acro is a, a kind of a shrinking of, a, it's in French, it's A double C R O C and we shrink it to A K R O O, you see? And, uh, and in fact, acro means addict, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it's, 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 it's uh, having uh, excesses, uh, having addiction for something. The addiction is um, you can't resist, in fact. You go back, you go back and you, you go back. But it's a legal addiction, you see. Uh, it's, it's good, it's very healthy. Uh, yeah. Those fragrances, they are safe, of course. Um, for example, the the cannabis has a, a no no um, dangerous uh, ingredients. No, yeah. So so we can we can start with uh, with the cannabis. It's haze. You see, um, haze. Well, was was in fact the first fragrance I've been working working on, and it took me let's say uh, almost two years, two and a half years to to make a, a six fragrance uh, six fragrances uh, range. You see, so mm -hmm. this one haze. It's based on uh, really natural ingredients. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been uh, using some warm wood, warm wood. It's called the absinthe. Uh, then the clary sage. You have some, some mint, uh, spicata mint, the spicata mint that you can drink uh, mm -hmm. in infusion, like a tea, a tea mint, you know, it smells already cannabis, you know. Um, so it's addiction of, uh, to drug, this one, to cannabis. It's really well appreciated by yeah. lots of people yeah. everywhere in the, in the world. It's one of our heroes' uh, fragrance, uh, that one, you know. Very diffusive, very yeah. long-lasting, uh, doesn't smell like the market, it has no gender. It's uh, for anybody who likes fragrances. They're, they're, our, our job has to be simple, you know. We, we, don't, we don't make it uh, too complicated. Uh, we, I'm working with the, with the, let's say, um, by feeling, by feeling, and um, and those fragrances are really wearable by by anybody who who like, uh, who loves uh, our our um, uh, ideas. Yeah, but uh, here I would like to mention something over here. Um, I think all of the fragrances, all of the six fragrances, I feel that they somehow, let's say, challenge the status quo. I don't know if this is the right word. But they are very special, you know, like they are, they're talking about a direction. So it could be that it, you find it polarizing or you, so it's not for everyone, like you mentioned. So that your concept of you don't have to please everyone, but there is a, there is a market or there is a group of people who would love it. You know, so yeah, I think it's you, true. It's true. Uh, because in fact, what we decided with, with Jack and Anais at the beginning, we said, we don't want to please, and we are not looking for 98% of the consumers. We are going to please 2% of the, uh, the, the consumers. It's more than enough. So, so our fragrances, they, they are polarizing. They, they will please people. They, the people are going to say we dislike them. So as we said, we are respecting their choices, the choices of our customers. But, uh, but the thing is, uh, you have thousands of, uh, of um, fragrances in the world, and especially uh, every year you have more than uh, 1,700 uh, new uh, niche, uh, niche company, which is a lot, you know. Well, mm -hmm. years ago it was 400, uh, now it's uh, uh, coming up to uh, 1,700, which, uh, I mean, it's... Uh, and, and on top of that, you have some nice fragrances, but 
they are lost because because you have too many you know in, in the forest you cannot uh, pick up the best uh, the best tree you see so yeah. in order to 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 surf on the wave and to be seen we wanted to be different so that's why i didn't smell the market and i was mm -hmm. you know uh, following my feeling uh, mm -hmm. and we were working in a, in a close co collaboration with jack and anais and uh, i can tell you what i achieved uh, two three years ago it's really nice because it's very modern you know and i don't know now i don't know exactly what to use in order to improve them because because yeah. they are for me, I, I'm proud to say they are perfectly uh, well done, yes. you see, in terms yes. of ideas, in terms of uh, um, diffusion, and so on. Um, we, can, we can go to, to smoke as well. That's yes. number two uh, fragrance. Smoke also is uh, really well appreciated by lots of people in, uh, in Asia, in North America. Very diffusive. It's maybe the, the strongest uh, fragrance uh, Yep. among the, the, the six uh, fragrances. Yep. Uh, this one, this one is, is based on the tobacco. It's Balkan tobacco. Mm -hmm. um, it has some leathery aspect. It's a little bit dark, a little bit black, you know, and uh, it smells um, leathery. It, it smells like birch as well, you know. Yep. The first, yeah, yeah. The burn, rubber, burn yeah. kind of feeling. Yes. And it, it and those those uh, those ideas are really well tied to the, um, the concept found by Anais and Jacques in London because when you go out you know in week in the uh, over the week and the, over the weekends uh, well you can have coffee you, you can have a, a chocolate pie you can have a whiskey then you, you can you can smoke and so on. they are they are really um, they they really fit you know. Their, their concept, you see. Yeah, but I have to ask you something about smoke. I don't smoke, right? So, uh, you know, for me, it was complicated when Jack said we have a fragrance on, on addiction of cigarette. So you always feel people who haven't smelled it that it smells like cigarette or it smells uh, not so good. You know what I mean? So yes. Ideally, not with cigarette, but it's that smoke and leather and bitch tar. You know, for me, that might be very challenging for you to create a fragrance you know, that is for cigarettes uh, and then to make it also smell like a fragrance, you know. Yeah. And you see, uh, Raul, as well, what I try to do, I try to, 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 to match the smell of the cigarette, the smell of the cigar, and then I try to, to, to go away and, and, and find by adding some new ingredients, it has to be pleasant, wearable, yeah. because a straight idea uh, is, is sometimes too hard, you see, too harsh as well. And it's, uh, it's more pleasant after um, some, some uh, experiments, you, you see. Uh, um, so I would like to talk about night a little bit, uh, Olivia, because that's one fragrance that's challenging for me. I have to be very honest with you. Like, <laughs> for me, it has been super challenging. I wore it and Glenn asked, uh, it's a remarkable body odor fragrance. Yes. So what was the idea? I mean, it, it's it's be dirty it should be sensual so i find it very very uh, yes difficult. yes if, in fact you have haze and, and smoke they are aromatic they are aromatic flowery mm -hmm. then you have uh, night and malt they are in the flowery uh, family and cluster family and indeed the idea was to um, how could i re represented uh, you know a sex a sex uh, idea and uh, in fact, I started on a, a rose. It's a rose coming from uh, Bulgaria, mm -hmm. a blend, so very feminine, very, very, very nice. You see, quite, quite, quite feminine. And uh, I, I blended it with some uh, some musk, some some white musk. So you have, when you spray it on yourself, it could be a man, it could be a woman. So immediately, um, you can you can you can get the effect of uh, some some. Uh, some uh, nice uh, sheet, uh, some, some white sheet, um, very, very, very clean, you see. Mm -hmm. um, so, in fact, it's, it's uh, for three, four seconds, it's very, very uh, fresh, um, uh, white and clean, and suddenly it shifts to something more dirty, more warm. Uh, it's the cumin, you see, it, the, the saffron, yeah. and as well the agarwood, you see. Agarwood. 
and and that makes it uh, wow. Uh, you you it's it's you you are watching a film. It's very romantic, and suddenly it becomes uh, it becomes uh, not at all romantic. It's, it's sex. Yeah. And and this one is really well appreciated. Uh, yeah. For for the small story, when when I launched my fragrances, uh, at the, was two years ago in Le Marais. It was in the center of uh, Paris, and uh, we had forty uh, French journalists who came and spent a few hours uh, with them. And uh, they said to me, well, well, afterwards, you know, after spinning the six fragrances, I said, well, you're not disappointed. Uh, can you can you say uh, something? Um, against, I mean, uh, versus versus the competition, and they said no. We're not going to say anything on, on the competition. We we don't want to, to to tell you that you are better or, or or not. But what we can say, you are breaking the rules. They said, mm -hmm. and it was a nice compliment. And okay. everyone among the, the forty uh, uh, people, forty journalists, people, I remember. They loved it. Was the number one. The hero fragrance was was night. You see. Yeah. But is, 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 does it have? Does it work more? Because it's so special. Does it have like some countries it works more? I don't know in Middle East maybe, or in Asia is 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 it Middle East? Yeah, Middle East it works really well. Middle East is a, is a is a really a, a nugget. Really a yeah, nugget. Absolutely beautiful. By the way, hello from Cecil. Cecil is here. I'm pretty sure you know her and her work. Uh, hi, Cecil. Thanks for joining. Um, Olivia, let's talk about uh, Awake. It's really my holy grail coffee fragrance, uh, or it has been my coffee fragrance, or one of my favorites. How yes, do you? Uh, awake, awake is the gourmand fragrance. It's edible. You see, yummy, yummy. Um, we have we have uh, Awake and, and, and Dark. They are in the gourmand cluster. Uh, the the idea was to work on a coffee. What keeps you awake is, of course, a coffee, <laughs> and it's a blend of a, a coffee that I drank in uh, in Brazil, uh, mm -hmm. coffee Santos, uh, nice, uh, really uh, coffee, and uh, pure coffee. And I, I used it with uh, with um, some cardamom, some yeah. green cardamom, you see. And uh, and on top of that, in order to make it um, uh, fresh. Um, and, and because you have to smell it from from the top, been using some lemon, yeah. nice lemon from Italy, mm -hmm. and uh, and also some some vetiver. So it's a very simple short formula, but I have to say that one is really well appreciated by yeah. lots of people, especially in North America. North yeah. America is doing uh, really well in some stores. You see, um, we are really uh, really uh, proud. And uh, mainly, uh, if we ask, if we see the, the list, the selling list is the number one. Number Absolutely. one is uh, also one of the most not, variable is a wrong word, but pleasing. Let's call it like that. It's like I, I can't imagine anyone not liking awake. You know? Yeah. Like, the, 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 but, this one I like. You know, it's like uh, like children. You cannot see which, which one <laughs> do you like the best. You see, <laughs> even but, if you have a, a girl uh, and a boy. You see, but you can see. And uh, I have to say that this one is uh, well appreciated. What, what is interesting, it's uh, um, as, you, as we said, night is uh, really well appreciated in, uh, in the Middle East. Um, Awake is uh, really well appreciated in North America, and it's a, it's a huge country also in Canada, North America. Absolutely. Um, what was I, one question from Christoph Ludemir yesterday? <laughs> Uh, he he said that he was, it's Balkan coffee. What kind of coffee is in the in the in Awake? He was curious. It's no, it's, it's a coffee coming uh, com, coming from um, co, it's a Santos co, uh, coffee Santos from uh, from Brazil. From Brazil, yes, of course. Yeah, it's a to tobacco. The tobacco uh, is coming from Balkan. You know. Okay. The tobacco. So every, uh, every time I try to use the the, the purest qualities coming from some. Come, coming from special regions, you see. Uh, uh, we have some cardamom from Guatemala, but sometimes I'm using the Asian uh, cardamom. So it's very precise, you see. Amazing. Uh, let's talk about dark. So dark, dark is our second uh, gourmand uh, fragrance. You see, dark is based on uh, chocolate. It's a dark uh, chocolate, you see. That one is also is really amazing. You have some uh, some uh, cocoa. You have some dark chocolate. You have a kind of animalic note 
coming from chocolate, it's, uh, you know, it's the um, agar wood also, another quality of uh, agar wood, by the way, coming from India, yeah. you know, from Assam. Wow. And, 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 uh, and you can smell, when you smell it, smell it at, the, at the neck, you smell some nice patchouli leaves as well. Beautiful. Now, this is this was uh, the one I'm gonna get next time. This is one I don't have, and I really want to get. Yeah, and and the thing is uh, that that is very personal, but very important. Um, I mean, you cannot uh, tie them to a anything existing on the market. You see. Absolutely. Uh, so 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 I I think it's unique. It's really unique. You see. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you have six addictions. Like, I'm just, I was thinking how many addictions are there, you know? So <laughs> what's next here in the, in the line of addictions? Can you talk a little bit about it already or? So actually, actually we have six uh, uh, fragrances based on addictions. Um, the thing is um, I'm not going to work on, uh, on uh, work addiction because uh, it's a nonsense, you see? But uh, the thing is, we are working and we finished uh, just a few weeks ago, a nice addiction. It's also based on a nice addiction. It's a nice fragrance um, worn by, uh, by uh, the whole family. And I can tell you, uh, when we go shopping, we have lots of people saying, I mean, it's not, it's not 20, uh, 20 per day, but we have some five, six people every time saying, oh, wow, what, what do you wear? What, what, what is that? Can we buy it and so on? So it's seventh addiction. The seventh opus uh, will will be um, on the market. I think uh, by mid uh, mid June. Mid June probably. Mid -June. That's something we have to discuss with uh, with an Ace and Jack. Already. Okay, but you can't say much more than I don't know some notes. You don't have to give away the addiction. Yeah, okay. it, it's 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 it's, it's uh, an addiction. I mean that's something that. Uh, it's concerning 20% of the population. Okay. It's something, something, it's not, you know, coffee is drunk by, uh, let's say, 95% uh, of the, uh, the people who are white people. Right. This one is uh, wrong, uh, is, um, is concerning more than 20% 20, 20 of the population. A very... so already a good sign to find uh, what it is already. Absolutely. It's, it's, a, it's, a huge, it's, a, it's a huge idea. It's a, I'm pretty sure if you're working on it, it's huge. It's... <laughs> Great. Uh, guys, do you have any questions? I don't know. Maybe we have two, two more minutes, three more minutes to take care of some questions. Uh, let me go, go up and see um, some questions. Yep. Um, so Fab, Fab Prince Mia asks, I'm curious, Oliver, do you, Olivia, do you uh, wear any of your creations? If Which one is your favorite of all creations from both your brands? Uh, from your brand and uh, others you have created. So create, I think, a lot of people ask, do you wear your own creations? Yeah, yeah. The, the thing is, you know, I'm, I'm changing like, uh, like Anais and Jack. Uh, we are rolling and, uh, and uh, wearing our uh, fragrances every, every day. We are wearing uh, another one, you know. They have no seasons. Uh, they are wearable by uh, anybody, as I said. Uh, well, I love, I love Ace because maybe it's the uh, freshest one. But yeah. that doesn't mean I don't like, I dislike the other. <laughs> <laughs> but, but A's, A's uh, you know, the, uh, the cannabis, when, when I walk in uh, New York early in the morning, yeah. um, uh, uh, late uh, when I come back, you see, uh, um, and you, when you smell in the streets that cannabis everywhere, you know, on the sidewalk, in the, in the apartments and so on, I mean, uh, that's a very uh, interesting smell, you know, it's... Uh, you can smell it at uh, 100 meter. You see, uh, mm -hmm. it's amazing that that bitterness comes through to you, and you cross people, and they smell because lots of people are, are you know, smoking uh, cannabis. It's maybe 25, 30 percent of the uh, yeah. population uh, our days. Um, but uh, this one, well, I, I like it. I like I like the others, of course, a, a lot. Um, you know. Um, uh, malt, malt. Did did we talk about malt uh, rapidly? Or? Oh, malt. We forgot. Sorry, my bad. Because yes. I don't have it, I completely forgot. This Let's one, this, this one, not so it's fine. Malt is also a really interesting. It's pure creation. Uh, this one is pleasing lots of uh, English people uh, <laughs> because uh, when you go in a, in a pub, uh, you ask uh, whether you, you you can take a beer 
draft beer or you, you can you can have some nice uh, whiskey it's a single malt uh, whiskey yeah. and uh, i have to say you you, you smell the seaweed um, feeling it's, it brings a salty effect you smell uh, as well some leathery notes uh, yeah. typically typically it's a it's a it's a single malt and um this one is, is well, well, well appreciated uh, as well. Um, yeah, so you know, uh, I have to tell you, night was, sorry, malt was the only, fra the one fragrance that transformed a lot on my skin. So it started with this malt uh, kind of a note and then it becomes flowery after. It's like, very flowery. How, how fast it changes. Raul, you are right. Uh, we have two, two flowery uh, fragrances. It's night, the sexy one, and malt, it's the uh, addicti uh, addiction to alcohol. You have a trace also of rum in, into the, uh, um, the, the whiskey. Um, I mean, those, what, what, I, what I've done when I was ready, I went to, uh, to 10 people around me and I was showing the, the fragrances. I was dipping the, the fragrances and I, 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 I was telling the people, well, what do, you, what do you think? First of all, do you like the fragrances? And uh, what does it smell like? And the 90% 90, 90 of the people they were saying, ah, well, it smells like smoke. Oh, this one smells like a drug. You see, mm. the, the identity was, uh, was clear enough, you see. Absolutely. Um, first of all, uh, Olivia, thank you very much. We have so many questions. So I guess we'll have to do another session eventually. So I will have yeah. to <laughs> run behind you to do. Sorry for everyone who, whose questions I could not take. It's just impossible, my question box. So I guess we'll have to invite him, him again. Olivia, thank you very much for your time. Uh, really appreciate it. It has been the highlight of my 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 fragrance journey. I have to say, thank you, Raoul. It was a really a great pleasure, and uh, you know uh, I'm feeling uh, perfectly uh, well with uh, because I'm surrounded by by, by friends uh, which are really uh, addicted to, to to some nice smell. Nice, uh, they have a great experience of uh, fragrances, men and and women, and uh, I respect them a lot. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Thank but, you, guys. Thank you very thank much. You so much. Uh, and we are really excited for next uh, coming projects. And we wish you uh, best of luck. Thank you very much, Olivier. Thank really you, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye.